Hello and welcome to today's real estate video. Right now, you're perched up on the loft over there, but I'm gonna be showing you around this brand new condominium showroom unit. The completion of this project is scheduled for 2025, so it's currently at its pre-sale stage. That means you're gonna get this place discounted to when it's built in three years time. So the first unit I'm in is 27.5 square meters and the first thing you'll notice is just how big this place looks. But that's predominantly due to these really tall high ceilings where every single unit in this condominium space has these loft style conversions. So they utilize the high walls, meaning you can walk up the stairs here and your bedroom is up there. So when you factor in the floor space and the ground floor, the total usable space works out to about 35 square meters. So you get an additional seven, seven to eight square meters of space. So when you first enter this unit, you have the kitchen on the right hand side here. Opposite the kitchen, you have your shower and your toilet, pretty good size. So you've got all your essentials like a hob, a microwave, you see your sink, and then you've got kind of like a fridge unit here. And as we work our way down the hall, we're met with the living room. And this particular unit does feature a balcony, but obviously there's no view. They've just put a picture there because the building is under construction. Now let's make our way up the stairs. With a one bedroom unit, you get your bedroom elevated three meters in the air. How luxurious is this? So you've got your bed there with your wardrobe on the right hand side and a small mini study area on the left hand side there too with an additional air conditioning unit. You also have an air conditioning unit down there for the living space. Now, I was a little concerned about how high the ceiling would be on this second floor, but it can accommodate a very tall person such as me. I'm six foot four. I've looked at a few real estate properties here in Bangkok, but this is the first I've seen in this style. These high ceilings with this loft conversion style really gives you so much more space to just do more. So this one bedroom unit starts at 4.5 million baht and is fully furnished. Let's now move on to the next unit. But before we move on to the second unit, let's just talk a little bit about the location. This condominium complex called Landmarker MRTA is based in Rama 9, a central business district here in Bangkok, positioned just 350 meters away from a brand new MRT station on the Orange Line, which will be opening up at approximately the same time to when this condominium is complete. The complex will feature three individual buildings and the units that are available to purchase for foreign investors under the foreign freehold quota, meaning you maintain ownership indefinitely, will be located within the building called the Cassia residency that will stand at 38 floors high and will be the tallest building amongst the three. The Cassia Tower will contain a mixture of condominium, office and retail space, so future tenants will have the luxury and convenience to be able to pop down to lower floors to fine dine, do a bit of shopping and grab their favourite coffee. Additionally, exclusive to tenants and owners, the tower will also feature a rooftop pool and a state-of-the-art exercise facility. There will also be a co-working space, a children's play area, a sky bar and a coffee bar. Now the previous units we were looking at in this video, they have what is called a guaranteed program where investors may receive a fixed yearly payment for the next 10 years between 5 to 6%. But for more information on this, please contact the email below. Let's now get back to showing you the other units located in the Cassia residency. Okay, so welcome to the second unit, which is a one bedroom two, but this one sits at 34 square meters. And when you take into account the loft conversion, the total usable area works out to be 46 square meters okay so when you enter the second unit you've got the kitchen on the left hand side so the previous unit was on the right this time it's on the left pretty similar kitchen pretty similar layout um, again nice storage units sufficient space the only difference I see is the microwave is actually now inbuilt here whereas in the previous one it wasn't but the bathroom certainly is different let me show you around so we've got a shower on the left hand side but not only do we have a shower, we also have a bathtub. A bathtub. I've not seen a bathtub in any condominium unit in Bangkok, whether it's been like 70 square meters, 60 square meters. They don't feature bathtubs, so I'm pretty surprised this one does. It reminds me of those like Japanese inspired bathtubs. 
especially the way they've got like this wooden rack going from one side to the other with that brush there. And the size of this bathroom is a really good size. There's sufficient headroom clearance so that we can stand in here. I don't have to worry about my head touching the seat or the shower touching my head. I can move around freely. And then if I wasn't fancying a shower, I'd just hop in there for a bath. And then on the other side, we have this reclining sink with storage units and a massive central mirror. Now, walking down the hallway again, we've got a bar on the left-hand side with some nice stylish shelves. You do also have this door that slides outwards just in case if you want to separate the kitchen or the bathroom from the living space and the bedroom. What I like about this particular door is how it's actually concealed away over here, so you won't even notice. So that's what it looks like with it closed. And then through here is the living space. With this unit though, the living space is bigger. And you've got this corner couch that wraps all the way around that wall over there. Additionally, with this second unit, you also have this dedicated study room. And does this, oh, it does. It actually also closes off too. A nice sliding door. Take a look at that, people. You wouldn't even know somebody's behind it. Now, this may look like a study space, but I believe this can actually convert into a bed as well. And I'm gonna try it out. The moment you rotate this key, the bed just wants to literally fold out, which is really nice. You don't have to put a lot of effort into trying to push it down. It's also a very controlled movement. There wasn't like any slamming or anything like that. So actually, if somebody wanted privacy, this door would come really handy. I'm shocked by the versatility of this condo unit. They've really gone to detail how to make the most out of this space. Now, is it difficult to put back up? Let's test it out. Wow. You could have like a flask there and you wouldn't need to worry about it spilling or anything like that. This remains completely horizontal. In my opinion, I think this is one of the coolest condo tours I've done here on the channel. Let's not forget, we also do have a balcony with this unit, but let's now head up to the second floor. Again, we've got an air conditioning unit with your master bed there. A nice study table that overlooks onto the ground floor. And then concealed behind this double set of doors is your wardrobe. But not only that, you also have a toilet too. How incredible is this? I mean, does this open up? Oh, wow. Oh, this is a door that closes like that. So as you're watching this video, I want you to live vicariously as if you were literally living in this condo space. You've got your clothes hanged up here. You've got your shoes down there. You've got your underwear, socks all sorted out neatly here. When you wake up, you come outside your bed, you come into the bathroom, you brush your teeth, fix your hair, and then you wander downstairs. Or you could even start your day with a few morning tasks working at your desk. I'd be really chuffed if I was living in this apartment in Bangkok. I mean, it's in Bangkok as well, Rama Night a central business district. I almost missed this small detail out, but take a look at this. When you push this in, just underneath the stair, you've got additional storage units to put your suitcase, your mop, your vacuum cleaner, whatever it is you want to put in there. You could even put your shoes. And it also comes with like a little small light there. See that? That light actually powers the bar and the storage units underneath. Here you have your inbuilt TV with a small stand there. And then that balcony over there looks like it's about one meter out and about one and a half meters wide. I haven't said anything about the windows. The windows are oversized. Look how big these windows are. So when you're X amount of floors high, remember this building is 38 floors. You're gonna have ample light coming in with spectacular views over Bangkok. Right, so that was unit two. Let's now head over to the third and final unit, which is actually a two bedroom. Okay, welcome to the third and final bedroom, which has a floor space of 53 square meters. But when you take into account the loft, the total usable space converts to 72 square meters. First impressions of this unit. It doesn't feel like a condo unit. It feels more like a house. Like the size of this living space is equivalent to that 
of what you would get when you buy like a two, three, four bedroom house. Whereas before we used to have like quite a limited kitchen along the hallway. The kitchen has now been moved into the living space with this open style layout, which gives it a contemporary feel. So over here is the living space. You've got your couch there. Just behind you, you've got these huge windows that would have a magnificent view over Bangkok. And then over here, you've got a well-spaced kitchen with your dining table attached to these marble-like countertops. And then embedded in the fitting, you've got a full-size fridge too. You've also got this space under here, which you could possibly put a dishwasher underneath. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe a washing machine could go here too. But I am a fan of how these countertops wrap around such that it feels really snug in here. Where previously we used to either have the bathroom or the kitchen, this area here is the second bedroom. It's a good size second bedroom. And here, you've also got an entrance to the whopping size balcony. Look at that. So when this place is built, right, picture this, 30 floors high with this balcony. You've got windows up there with a view to. Opposite the second bedroom, we have the main bathroom. So you've got your bath there, a shower here, just like before, but it slightly feels bigger than the second unit. But most of it is the same with a very similar layout and concept. Oh, we've got a place for your shoes on the side here with your switches located there. Price of these units are gonna appreciate quickly once the project is finished. From the living room, you do also have another door that leads out onto the balcony as well. And these blinds are gorgeous. You know, I have a friend that lives around Bangkok and he recently bought a house that features these sort of huge blinds that go all the way up to the ceiling. I really do like it. Before we head upstairs, I just wanna check for any like clever storage units. Wow, that is a big storage unit. You could fit quite a lot in here. Let's head up now to the second floor. There's a lot of space up here. I'm guessing this would be your master bedroom, but depending on whether you wanna pick this as your master bedroom or downstairs, I would personally pick this. But for somebody who's very, very, very tall, probably like in the 0.1%, they might have to go downstairs because the ceilings are slightly higher. Just like we saw in the second unit, we also have a walk-in wardrobe on the second floor. Very nice. And we've got a space for the toilet. Okay, so I'm gonna be wrapping up the video here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with friends and family. And if you have any sales inquiries about any of the free properties or units that you saw in this unit, make sure you hit the email below. But I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.